Second last on the programme, race number nine. We're back on the all-weather for the ninth. It's a class two, 1,200-metre trip. Convincible. Um, landed the hat-trick and was beaten the last time out behind Moame Friends. He goes uh, back, trying to go back-to-back -back himself after that last start course and distance win. King Genki down in class, down in trip as well. Pabloski loves it here on the all-weather. A four-time course and distance win. A little giant, the return. Big wraps on him last year. Star of Yanoi was a course and distance winner back in May. Perpetual joints, good record here, one from one. And Joyful Moments as well was another course and distance uh, winner in May. We're back at the touch screen here to have a look at the speed map. An interesting one, Brett. Um, with um, Joyful Moments, um, drawn one again. Unlikely they want to give up um, that, uh, that low back. Barrier and uh, the other horse will block a D, probably slots into the spot that uh, Mega Red has, has left as the uh, promoted starter. Yeah, that he does. Um, I think the three interesting runners are no doubt uh, Pavlovsky here, who um, of course is a noted front runner. Happy Meteor with a claim as well, and Joyful Moments. Now they're the three that are likely to, of course, uh, dispute the lead in the early stages. King Genki's won two trials coming into this race, and he is a very good horse on the dirt. But the longer trips are generally more suitable for him, so you just wonder whether or not he can um, go with the early speed. The big question horse in the race, no doubt, is uh, this one here, Little Giant. A very impressive winner first up. He's trialled particularly well on the surface. Does he posse up in that position? I probably think he does. Um, I think Dragon Master's a, an interesting runner as well back here. This is likely where he's going to end up, but his run last start was terrific. He's going to be a, a horse that appreciates the pace and may be able to close off. But no doubt Little Giant's the most interesting runner in the race. But Class 2 races, whether they're on the dirt or the turf, are never easy to win. You've got to be good. No, but uh, he's looked impressive in his track work and trial so far, Paul. Little he, Giant. He has. He's looked very, very good. And uh, we'll, we'll start off here with Pavlovsky, though. Uh, he's a very good horse on all surfaces. It was a really good run from him last time. And he's taken no harm from him. He's the grey, obviously, closest to us. And he's still going really well. He's uh, going nicely. Here is Little Giant, where the horse could win and don't miss who does go well himself, and you can see he's really stretching out nicely, the little giant. Comes off the back of winner don't miss, and once he got alongside, he didn't let him go, Zach Purden, so the horse is going very well. And then this was a solo gallop afterwards, and he's doing it nice and slowly here, but nice and relaxed as well. So he can relax in behind this uh, strong pace, I think, little giant. So that's uh, why I thought I'd show that one. Mm. Of course, beaten odds on favourite by Shamal last year. We'll hear from Zach um, in a little while. Let's um, have a look at some of these uh, horses in action. And we'll start off with some uh, course and distance form. Uh, this is Dragon General. Covered some ground, but uh, swung into the straights and uh, ran down uh, winning Van Gogh as well. The other horses we're going to take uh, a note of. Uh, Dragon Master, who's, uh, who's out wide here. Uh, we've also got uh, Star of Yanoi. He's uh, tucked in behind. And uh, the other horse is uh, just a about uh, out of sight. He's in, in the middle here is uh, Joyful Moments. Yeah, well, Joyful Moments, Andrew, is likely to be on the pace. The horse I'm going to focus on is the one widest as you uh, roll the picture here, Dragon Master. I really like the way he closed off. Dragon General obviously ran a pretty decent race as well. He got up to win it. But Dragon Master, for me, I think the barrier is not a hindrance. He actually carries £14 less than what he carried on this occasion. So that brings him in nicely at the weights. It brings Dragon General in nicely at the weights as well. Both of them have got question marks over the class, but just like the way Dragon Master hit the line there. He's looked very impressive in a couple of his wins over the straight thousand. They were heading him towards the four-year-old series at one stage, so they had a reasonable um, you know, a, a thought about him uh, ability-wise. Didn't work out, but um, he'll be my long shot because I'm thinking Little Giant's going to come up short. It'll be hard to beat, but it's a tough race to win on the dirt. He certainly is. All right, let's have a look at uh, this one then, Paul. We're at Happy Valley here. Uh, while my friend, uh, the winner, um, other horses uh, to, make, to take note of, uh, Convincible, who swings in from out wide, and uh, the other horse, Perpetual Joints. You can hardly see him. He's covered up right at the back as they swing in. Yeah, it's interesting. Uh, while my friend obviously won this at a massive price, and they did finish all in a big club together. Convincible was the favourite on this occasion. He's had one start on the all-weather, though, and uh, didn't go particularly well. He's got um, 133 pounds, or 130 pounds, sorry, to, as the top weight to do as well. So he, it's, up, it's up against him. And I just wonder about um, why my friend, he just managed to stick his head out at the right time. And mm. can, he, can he go do it second up on the dirt? That's a question mark I had. Convincible's an interesting one. I know he's got top weight and he's only had the one run on the uh, the surface, but he obviously was flying at the end of last season, already a winner this term. wonder if he just drops back with the top weight they held to skelter. He, he might let down and 
um, produce a bit of a finish. Mm. I kept looking at him for some reason. All right, Pavlovsky, uh, good course and distance uh, for me. No, loves it here on the all weather. He's the one that uh, fares best on this occasion. Uh, the other horses uh, to take note of, though, uh, joyful moments. What's uh, more up on the speeds? Uh, we've got uh, Dragon Master once more. He's uh, just in behind a couple. And Star of Yano, who got a long way back here. Yeah, well, um, you know, I was mentioning Convincible before. The, the biggest hurdle for him outside of the weight is taking on these horses that are genuine dirt horses, like Joyful Moments and Pavlovsky in particular, Paul. Yeah, you know, Pavlovsky's been running well on the on the turf, and but we, I think he's a better horse in the all weather. The question mark is he's drawn 12, and um, he's going to have to work because there's a lot of pace in this race, and he's a natural horse that likes to go forward. Still think he can run well, though. He's had 22 goes in the class, Pavlovsky, and never won. Mm. So he's a horse that has a, an average, obviously, win strike rate in this grey, but he's not on his own, which is why I keep sort of coming back to Little Giant, even though it's a tough race for him to win. Yeah, all right. Well, it does seem to uh, revolve around him at uh, this stage, and that is uh, Little Giant. So let's hear from the man himself, the man on board. That's Zach Purton. Little Giant, Zach, how's his preparation been? It's been good. He's um, continued to work well. His barrier trial was good, so yeah, it's good to have him back at the races. Was it a surprise that he's running on the dirt first up? Uh, when you get into class two, there's not too many options. Um, unfortunately, we're forced to run in this race. He handles it okay, though? He's trial well on it, yep. And he's, this could be 400 wins here in Hong Kong for David Hall. What's your association been like with David? Uh, in more re recent times, it's been pretty good. I think I went eight years without having much of a ride for him, but uh, recently it's been good. Um, and it'd be nice to get 400, uh, his 400th winner for him. He's got some good chances throughout the day, so the 400 might be up at uh, this point, but if it's not... There's always next meeting, but I'm <laughs> hoping uh, he can get the win, yeah. yeah. I think Beakley might do it earlier on, but uh, <laughs> if he doesn't, I'm sure Little Giant will. The pressure will be off, but it's um, going to be a clean sweep here as the selection's concerned. Yeah, I think Little Giant's a really nice horse, and, and the surface looks really good for him as well, so um, I've got no problems with him on it. Uh, right, Brad, I think Dragon Mars will get back, run on nicely. Blocker D, um, Casper Founds has done pretty well with some of these horses backing up quickly. And he, he, he can run into this race, I think. And Pavlovsky just got that awkward draw to overcome. But 7, 8, 6, 5, but just back to 7, I think. Um, yeah, look, I've got Little Giant as the on-top selection. He's skinny uh, in the betting, that is. Um, but he's got plenty of talent. Pavlovsky, Happy Meteor, Dragon Master. They're all winning hopes. I did look at Blocker D... Quick back up onto a surface he's performed well at. I just wasn't convinced that his first two efforts have been the best blocker D can add. I just ended up coming back to Little Giant, but I, I'll be honest with you, I don't like the price at $2.30, so I'm going to play at a trio. I'll have him as the banker so he can run one, two, three with one, five, eight, and ten. I'm going to throw in Convincible for the reasons I mentioned before. He's been in very good form and one little ordinary run, and all of a sudden he's gone from favourite to 30s. Mm. Yeah. I yeah, know he's been in a race, Little Giant, but I think he's. Um... He's a nice horse. Oh, he, he is. But, you know, I mean, there's some reasonable horses. I mean, how mm. good do you think he is, Paul? I think he's very good. Do you think he's a group horse? Yeah. OK. Well, if he is, he'll probably win easy. He'll win this. All right. So that's uh, race at number nine. Uh, one more to come then for us. Uh, race at number ten, the Hucker Spirit Handicap. Plus all the best bets. They're up next.